climate change is a really complicated topic and one that I'm really, really passionate about. And just for you guys, I found you a fantastic expert who is going to answer your questions about climate change and this is going to prepare you really, really well for your GCSE. Hi, my name is Simon and in 2009 I went to Oxford to study physics at St Peter's College and I run a channel called Simon Ox Fizz where I answer people's questions about applying to Oxbridge and talk about my time at Oxford and now as a PhD student at the University of Exeter. Climate change is the idea that the weather around the world is changing because of what humans are doing to the Earth's atmosphere. The greenhouse effect is the idea that the Earth is warming up because of what humans are doing to the Earth's atmosphere. The gases involved in climate change are called greenhouse gases and they include carbon dioxide, methane and water vapour. And the primary sources of these gases is combustion, so cars and anything with an internal combustion engine. Also from power plants, things like coal and oil, and also agriculture. There are lots of ways that technology can be used to try and slow down or reverse climate change. One idea is making power plants that don't emit so much carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. So for example, moving from coal power plants to nuclear power plants or to wind turbines, which don't emit any emissions. Another idea is to remove carbon dioxide from the Earth's atmosphere except we don't know if this will work on a big scale or if it will have any effect. And another idea is to inject particles into the upper atmosphere of the Earth to reflect the sun's radiation back out into space so that the Earth cools. Climate change affects people all over the planet. One thing that it's doing is increasing the frequency of extreme weather events, such as hurricanes, droughts and heat waves. All of these events can damage property and kill people. And we're seeing that these events are more frequent the warmer the planet gets. Another effect of climate change is the melting of the ice caps at the poles, which are leading to rising sea levels very slowly in a very small amount. But eventually low-lying areas such as Bangladesh and islands like Mauritius face being evacuated because they'll be flooded. So the two real effects that climate change is having on people at the moment is migration away from areas being affected by climate change and an increased frequency of the really extreme nasty weather events. Climate change and global warming are now referred to as two separate things. This is because global warming refers to the idea that the Earth's temperature on a global average is rising. That's all that global warming is. Climate change, on the other hand, refers to the changes in weather patterns on the scale of the planet due to the effects of global warming. So the science behind global warming is that emission of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere raise the Earth's temperature by preventing heat from escaping the Earth effectively. While the science of climate change is that that increased temperature caused by global warming leads to shifts in weather patterns, leads to shifts in where storms go, how intense storms are, and the severity of droughts and heat waves. 